First of all, let's have a look at what game design is. And I don't think there's a definite answer to this question. And I think a lot of people have been trying to answer it. But one of the ones that I found was game design is the act of deciding what a game should be. And that's from a book called The Art of Game Design by Jesse Shelf. And I guess the definition doesn't really matter that much. The goal is that you're going to be designing something that people are going to want to be playing. And by designing it, it's not just developing it. It's not just creating something. You want to design it in a way that people are finding it interesting and enjoyable and challenging. You decide the rules, the pacing, the core mechanics, the system, the art style, the risk and rewards to make an enjoyable experience for the player. You need to create rules and different play mechanics and systems within your game to make it enjoyable for players to play. That's your ultimate goal and that's what game design is all about. What is a core mechanic? You might have heard the term mechanics in a game or core mechanics. So a core mechanic is a fundamental action or rule within your game. And if we look at chess as an example, well, then you have the piece movement system. And for example, a king can move one square in any direction, whereas a queen can move any number of squares in any direction. So a core mechanic here is that each piece has its own set of rule to move that piece. And then you have the capture mechanic, which is another core mechanic of chess. And that's is if one of your pieces land on an opponent's square with a piece on, well, you capture that piece. So those are two core mechanics. So if those were core mechanics, what's a mechanic? Well, it's still a specific rule or action within the game, but it's not a fundamental one. It's not the one that's going to be holding the whole game up, but it could be a specific rule or action. If we stick with chess as an example, then you have the same as the core mechanic, plus you have something else. For example, the castling move. So a king can move two steps in one direction if it hasn't moved before, and it can, the rook can come and jump over the king to go next to it on the other side. That's a specific mechanic. It's not a core mechanic, I'd say, because you don't really do that all the time, but it's a mechanic within the game. You also have special move mechanics within chess. For example, a pawn on its initial move can move two steps instead of just one step that they can at the rest of the game. So that's another mechanic within the game. You also have a promotion mechanic. So when a pawn moves all the way to the opposite end of the table, well, then you can promote that pawn to any other piece in the game. So that's another mechanic. I wouldn't say it's a core mechanic because it's not happening as often. All right, so that was mechanics. What about systems then? Well, the systems are a bit bigger scoped. They're interconnected sets of rules. Join me in the Ultimate Indie program with a link in the description. And we run this a couple of times per year where we hang out and we make games together. It's a seven week program. It's eight live calls with coaching and there's a video library with more than 160 lectures and more than 30 hours of content. So hope to see you in the program and let's make games together.